What it is, y'all, it is your old boy Pilk, and I'm coming back today with more Damachi. Now, today we're going to be talking about Familia Royale. Now, this is not Familia Rush. This one runs a little bit differently, if you've forgotten. Basically, this is more like a record buster type of event. You've got uh, a number of foes here that you have to beat within a certain amount of time. You're given 15 turns, and usually the goal is to beat them with, like, 8-9 eight, eight, or whatever. Basically, the main thing, the best way to get damage out of this the best way to get the best score, I guess, out of this is to get a lot of damage and then finish them off with like a double, triple, or quad SA. More or less, because the faster you finish them and the higher that final number is, the better your score is going to be. Now, there are three difficulties. You really only wanted to kind of do this on the, lit, on the biggest difficulty because, as you know, that's going to give you a better score bonus. But neither here nor there, what do the foes do? Let's jump in here. Okay, Stormy Wolf. Now, this is Beast Killer is effective and Fire Physical Attack is effective. Worth noting, Fire Physical Attack. That's going to be a big factor here. Enemy Skills. Allies increase magic. Allies decrease damage received. Attack uh, type single target. The reason that they do that is because since you can get a big number with single targets, people were cheesing this back in the day and putting single targets on their team, doing a huge number, and then getting like multi-millions out of a single target, and then that was their score. No more... Single targets are resisted. you got to use AoEs. Physical resistance down 30 and fire resistance is down. Res resistance is down 20 or er, 20, 50%. So physical fire is preferred. Magic resistance is 50, wa up 50. Water is up 30 and light is up 40. Those three are absolutely out. Now I do have a magic on my team. We'll talk about why that is here in a moment. Earth, wind, thunder, and dark are all neutral. As I said, you want to use fire if you can. Fire physical attacks are effective. Fight effectively with dual sword savior Thilly Lily, who has Beast Killer. A reward from the tail under resort and feline guide, space time adventure Aldo will make a good attacker too. Both of units are my team, and we're going to test them out. As for the assist, you can aim for a boost in damage with a decrease in enemies' fire resistance and increase in allies' critical and uh, counter rate by using savior goddess Hestia. That is enough just regurgitating the information we know. Let's jump over to the game here. And let's take a look at the team that I have personally built. Now, as I said, the other two are going to open up. This one says in about 48 hours. That one will open up 48 hours after that. So the only one we have to worry about today is this. Okay. So here is my team. Rather than analyzing the team itself, though, if you want to take a look at the team and you want to analyze it, uh, you could pause the video here and just take the time, go through all the units. I'm not going to go through them all. I'm just going to jump in and do my battle and uh, see where that takes us. Now, one of the biggest tactics that uh, I kind of have believed in over time with Family Royale is build an early skill flow. Once you have that skill flow built, then you can come in and you can auto run a bunch of them. There's nothing wrong with that. Once you have that auto run going, then you can, you know, uh, break any RNG combos or, you know, get better RNG on fights and things like that. You can basically run this up to 99 times a day and just get better and better and better scores. It also gives you lots of opportunity to mix and match units and try different things. So let's build a skill flow right now. Now, Haruhime is a magic unit, as I said before, but she gives everybody 100% strength and magic. So she's definitely a must for this team. We're going to do Dawnwind with her. That's going to give everybody 33% SAK charge. And it's going to give us buff replication for a few turns. Now, Artie is a big question mark in this team. Um, she does physical resist to magic resist plus 30%. I don't think we're ultimately we're going to need that. But she does help out Aldo in a big way. She also does a death saving throw. Basically, uh, if we take an attack uh, at more than 10% HP and it drops below the killing zone, she'll save us for one more hit, basically. So if that's the final hit of the turn, we survive the turn. It's really nice. Uh, I don't know if it's going to be altogether mandatory for this, but the main thing that I'm using for her for is HP regen. Yes, there are other units that do HP regen. I'm aware it's the first unit that I grabbed, mostly because it did that physical resist and magic resist. Mostly magic resist because that's what these foes are using. Now, why do I say that might be redundant? Well, if I go over here to Aldo, his skill one is strength and magic plus 40%, or I'm sorry, minus 40%. So it's a big debuff. I'm going to go ahead and use uh, skill two, which is his big buff skill. Then he gets his extra action for two turns, which basically means next turn he's going to get his, the first of his extra actions. And then on that turn, if need be, I could do the debuff. Honestly, I probably won't need to because of the way this is set up, but we'll see. 
Finally, I've got Thilly Lily. Now, as you guys know, she does debuff when she does her big buff. She also debuffs her physical resistance. Because these are magic units, I'm not really worried. I don't think it's going to be a big deal. But who knows? Let's see here. Okay. So we are taking damage. And that's actually what we want. Believe it or not, if you see zeros, that is bad. That means you're not getting counters. So you want to see some numbers there. You want to debuff them. I probably will not do the 40% debuff at this point with Aldo. I'll just spam his skill too. And the reason being is because if I do the 40% debuff, we're probably not going to take enough damage. And that means we're not going to be doing counters. We're going to see a bunch of big goose eggs and we're not going to get counter damage. And counter damage is going to be imperative to this. Now, Haruhime, we're going to do skill 3 with. That's going to replicate everyone's debuffs. It's going to be good times. We, uh, then uh, Aphrodite's going to come in here. She's going to do a big... Uh, 100 and, uh, I'm sorry, not 100. <laughs> Boy, that's for her extra attack, and that is not going to be relevant. She's going to do all targets plus 35%, and that's going to be a big debuff. That's going to be really nice. We need to use Haruhime's replication to keep that in play. Aldo's going to continue doing skill 2, just frankly, because I don't want to do the strength of magic down 40%. If I do, I'll probably start taking zeros, and I don't want to take zeros. Now, I'm going to start doing uh, skill 2, with Illy Lily, and I'm going to be honest, I don't know if I'm going to go back and do her extra action. I might actually, uh, I didn't do it on final trial, only because I couldn't really afford the damage. But in the situation she's in, we might actually be able to afford the damage. So, because remember, they're magic attacks, and she, says she drops physical resistance. So in this situation, I think I'm actually going to do that. Now, I'm going to go back and do Dawn Wind with Haruhime, even though it's a bit early to do that. That's going to give 33% SAH charge to Wealth. That's basically build up that SAH much, much, much faster. Also, we're going to do his skill 1. That's going to be his big buff. Everybody else is pretty much going to do skill 2. Uh, now, interesting note, Aldo's, uh, buff replicate, or Aldo's extra attack is always buff with skill 2, so we never need to do anything but skill 2 unless we randomly need skill 1 for a debuff. So that's good news on us there, okay? Uh, let's see. Uh, I am going to go ahead and buff her extra attack, Soul of Honor, but we don't need that for at least uh, two more turns. So we're going to go ahead and get to turn five and see where we're at with that. So seems like a solid plan. Let's go. Okay. Now, we're already doing pretty respectable damage. Uh, I'm liking the numbers we're seeing. But once again, we're, I think we're going to build up to a probably a triple SA, maybe a quad, probably triple SA, if I'm honest here. Most likely, we're going to build up to a triple. So, let's see. Now, uh, debuffs. We are down to four and three turns, respectively. That's fine. We're actually good with that. We, You know what we don't have on the scene? We don't have anybody that debuffs fire. I just realized that. Now, Aldo will. He'll do it with his SA. But is that enough? And I've got to build up an SA gauge charge. I don't know. We'll see. I might actually have to take wealth off the team and put someone like Lead on here. Which would be slightly unfortunate, except I know what Lead does as an SA. That actually probably, now that I'm really thinking about it, would be even better than what I was considering. So actually, if I'm totally frank here, I think I'm making a mistake putting wealth on here. I think Lee, the Lizard Man, I think he's going to be a better option for this. And if I recollect, he actually might have Beast Killer as well, which would be, which would make Wealth an entire mistake. Uh, I'll let you go look at those units and make decisions for yourself, but I'm going to I'm gonna soldier on and work on this team off camera. It's just something I happen to think about, okay? Mostly because we don't have fire resistance. But because the debuffs are still going to be out there for a few turns, I can do skill one here. And that's going to give everyone critical rate, penetration rate, and counter rate for three turns so that's gonna be good news let's go ahead and then go to skill two here oh he does do fire resistance down 40 percent but still i think lead might still be a better unit so everyone here is going to go ahead and do skill two and let's go all right good time set and i think what i'm gonna do probably gonna build up to a triple maybe a quad but let's see how how far we get and how quickly this SA gauge builds. All right. Now, I do need to go back to skill three with Haruhime. We need to make sure the debuffs are being replicated now. 
especially, especially, especially with everything that we've got in play. Now, once again, with these three, skill, th skill two is going to be our best one. Everything else is single target. Remember, single target is resistant. Even if that is a big percentage buff on that, it's not going to do us any good. We need AoE attacks. All right, and he doesn't have any extra, uh, or he does, but it's on skill two, like Aldo. So, spammy skill two, spammy skill two, and with her, we need to go back. And, let's see, additional action, Soul of Honor. So when it says one turn, I need to rebuff that. So we're gonna do Soul of Honor on this turn, and with Haruhime, yep, yeah, we have two turns left on Dawn Wind. So we're gonna do Dawn Wind next turn. Let's go. Remember, Dawn Wind is just there to, to basically buff the extra attack. In fact, you know what? I really don't need to do that. Um, because I think we're going to... No. Hmm. I'm in debate here. I'm in debate if a triple or is going to be enough. I'm going to try a triple. I'm going to avoid doing Dawn Wind. I think we're good on that one. Uh, because I think this turn is going to be enough to get us to a triple. And I'm going to try a triple. I don't know if it's going to be potent enough, but I'm definitely going to try it. Uh, I think, honestly, being that magic resisted, wealth might be held back. And then that means a quad wipe might be necessary with this team. But I'm going to test it. I'm going to try it. Uh, we're at, what, about half health? Yeah, we're at about half health with him. Let's give it a shot. You know, sometimes in these types of fights, it really pays to take some risks now here's the deal and this is why i'm saying uh also that lead might be a much better choice than wealth here because leads sa will actually boost both strength magic and fire attack damage while it does 80 percent, it's not the 120 and 100 respectively that are built into this team remember we may not need that so i'm going to go ahead and buff uh fire attack damage here i'm going to go ahead and do the fire physical resistance and with dilly lily i'm going to do her 60% per each self buff skill and strength of fire resistance down 50% is not really going to be end of the world stuff. But let's see how much damage we get. Because I imagine it's still going to be substantial with at least two of these units. Okay, not quite a mill, which means that we would have gotten a much bigger hit out of lead. Ooh, two mil. Look at that. Yeah. Oh, but we still got a good hit. We still got a really good hit. Uh, probably would have been better. Probably could have been better. But we got a fast kill and we got a big hit. So let's go ahead and do an, an analysis here, okay? 14 mil. Yeah, I think I think we can do much better than that. I'll be honest. I think we can do way better than that. Uh, battle turn bonus is 180% because it was a fairly early kill. And... Alright, total score is 12 mil plus we get the uh, 180%. Uh, our highest damage was, let's see. That is a math. 4.5 mil? Was that her big hit? I, I guess we had a hit for 4.5 mil. I, I'd have to go back and reanalyze the footage. I didn't think our, our hits were that big. But what do you know? That's our score. So um, I'm going to go back and retry this with a couple other characters and uh, revamp this team a little bit. Uh, but I'm always going to keep this team on the back burner. So definitely, 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 guys, go uh, take a, take advantage of this. Let me know what kind of scores you're getting in the comments section. I'm going to go mess around with this team a little bit more and see if we can get better scores. But for now, that's going to be the video. Like, comment, share, all that good stuff. And I'll catch you guys on the next one.